Wondering what TestFlight is and why it's the ultimate tool for testing your iOS app? You're in the right place. In this iOS test flight tutorial, I will break down everything you need to know from adding testers and using beta codes to understanding crash reports and handling external testers. Whether you're curious about test flight games, invitations, or what to do when test flight is unavailable, I've got you covered. By the end of this video, mastering iOS test flight will be a breeze. Let's dive in and get your app ready for beta testing. Make sure to check out my Black Friday sale. The link is down in the description. A whopping 98% off, so go ahead and check it out right now. So, in the previous uh, video, I was uploading this app to the App Store, but we had an issue. And that issue was, while I was uploading, we had, uh, had this uh, error, app record creation error. And as I was reading through it, I thought that I needed to add some sort of uh, contact information. But as it turned out, I just needed to sign the paid application agreement. Remember, I told you, you do need to sign all of those agreements and I did not go into there because it's confidential. But uh, yeah, that was the only issue. And uh, then after that, I uploaded and I got to uh, this final screen, hooray. So today we are going to talk about TestLight, how to use it, how uh, what our options are and um, yeah, basically you are going to distribute your builds to uh, to your uh, test users. So uh, what you need to do is just go and go to developer.apple.com, uh, select account, uh, login if you haven't already done so, select apps, and then uh, you will uh, have your app right over here, upload to the App Store, there it is. And under test flight, uh, you will uh, actually see your build appear. Now, because I have uploaded this one uh, you know, previously, uh, it was on November 21st, so three days ago, This the status is complete. Now, uh, this will be in a different status, like uh, a re in review for about 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Uh, once that's done, you want to add the missing compliance. So click on manage over here. This basically asks if you have any encryption inside your app. If you don't, then just select none of the algorithms mentioned above. If you do, then please select them uh, or just one. And then it says ready to submit. It's really nice. This is what you want to do first. Now, where are the testers? Well, there are two types of testers, internal testers and external testers. Internal testers are those that you set up inside App Store Connect. Those uh, that, including yourself, you need to add in a, uh, their email addresses. That's fine if you are having, uh, you know, let's say inside your company or just close friends. But what I suggest is having an external uh, testing uh, environment. And that is just making sure that you get that great link, distribute it wherever you'd like, you know, email, messages, whatever. Once they click on that link, they will be either asked to download the test flight app or they will be redirected to the already installed test flight app on their device. So long story short, uh, there are two types of testers, internal and external, and let's uh, talk about how you can create them. So first of all, before you even create external testers, you uh, must create uh, uh, an internal testing environment. So click on plus over here. And I just usually go for internal and I check enable automatic distribution. So I don't have to uh, enable the distribution for all of my uploaded builds. Whenever I upload a new build, uh, it will be distributed to my internal uh, testers. Let's create that. There we go. And here we go. We have our internal. Uh, you have your testers. You may add testers right over here uh, outside of your regular testers that you have under users. Uh, we have your, our builds over here and the settings, you know, just you can, uh, uh, add it and the name, all of that. Now, builds. You want to uh, click on the build and uh, if you want to add in test detail, let's just wait for this to load. 
you can add uh, test details. Also, you can add them to another group or you can add individual testers right over here. And finally, uh, you can expire the build. Let's say there's a huge bug in the build and you don't want the, uh, the testers to test it anymore. You can expire the build. Again, this has already been uh, uh, sent to all of your uh, internal testers automatically. Okay, so that's one. Uh, then, as you can see now, external testing has appeared right over here. So what you want to do is uh, just click on plus over here and just go externals or just external. Let's create that. There we go. Now it says to start testing with external testers, complete the following steps, add builds, and then invite testers. We're going to see that uh, in just a second. Let's start out with add a build. Let's add a build. Let's select this one. Let's click on next and add some uh, app uh, description. Let's just say testing 101, uh, feedback email, contact information. If you do need a sign in, then add in sign in required. In our case, we do not need that. So I'm going to uncheck that and let's click on next over here. Uh, what to test? Uh, of course, you want to make sure that this uh, is a proper uh, description of what you want to test. And then you want to submit for review. I'm not going to click on the button right over here because you know this is a dummy uh, test and I don't want to waste their time. Uh, but uh, after you click on submit review, a review team will review your application your very first build and they will usually approve it if there is no malware or anything suspicious with it they will approve it within 24 hours this approval has to be done only once by the test flight team and after that you may upload more and more builds uh, for testing now because i'm not going to submit for review i'm just going to go and cancel over here and then i'm going to show you how this looks like after they have uh, reviewed and, of course, accepted your app. In some rare cases, they might not accept it. It hasn't happened to me once uh, that they did not accept it. So after 24 hours, you will uh, get something like this. And of course, you are going to get an email for that. Uh, you are going to have uh, external and then public link. Here we have our testers and you may add testers and you can see it in this previous one I had two testers or you can just and these testers will be added in automatically the new builds will uh, launch to them automatically or you could just copy out the link that I of course I grade this out uh, copy out the link and then distribute it also you can manage this link so you will be able to um, limit the usage so let's say 100 uses or you can just uh, remove the link so nobody will be able to access it. So that is how simple it is to use test flights inside uh, App Store Connect for your applications. Please note that the testers will need to download uh, the test flight app, which is kind of counterintuitive. So maybe you want to let them know that this is how it works. They download the app and they click on the link. Let's be talking about the external link. And then they will be taken to the test flight app, which will open up your particular uh, app. And uh, just to know, they might have multiple of these apps inside the test flight app. Now, if you do like these types of tutorials, I highly encourage you to take a look at my Black Friday sale. The link is down in the description.